Hello, good evening. How are you? Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Lisette. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Good, evening. Good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Noe. Good evening, Juan Carlos, Maria. Maria Cecilia. We have Rosa Maria. Okay. Hi. Thank you for coming. This is the second day for the second week, like uh, week number two, sorry. So we are going to begin with the class. We are going today to uh, review a little bit of, of the, um, the topics that we studied yesterday, just generally, and then we are going to review your homework, okay? So today you're going to speak about comparisons or comparing your house with another person's house, your friend's house, your grandmother's house, your cousin's house. So we are going to review the homework. But first we are going to begin with a little review. Let me see here. Okay, this is the presentation. And as we were studying yesterday, probably somebody missed the class. We were talking about apartments and houses, right? We are doing evaluations like sharing or point of view or um, thoughts about apartments, houses, if they are as convenient as apartments, if they cost a lot of money. Also, we studied what an adjective is, right? We were um, like describing the, the definition, some examples also. And we noticed that there is a difference right between nouns and adjectives. Adjectives are for describing uh, people, things, uh, different objects, right? So that is an adjective to describe, right? And we were studying also different adjectives for describing or to evaluate um, houses, let's say, or apartments or the area where we live, like comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, and spacious. And we were talking about these um, adjectives and also we had synonyms, right? Because it's good to have synonyms that will increase our vocabulary and we will be able to express ourselves in a better way. So that's a, a technique that you can use if you want to write, investigate more synonyms of a word or an adjective or a noun that you like to use very often so you can use it in different ways. And uh, we had also the, the formulas, right? So we can create different sentences. If we practice enough, we will be able to know the order of, of these um, words to create sentences. We have uh, uh, evaluations with adjectives using enough and to. And also we were studying um, the word enough, right? And also to. For example, we have their apartments aren't big enough for families or apartments aren't spacious enough for families. And enough is sufficient, something that is uh, suficiente para nosotros, ¿verdad? Y two is an excess, right? Two is like in a negative connotation. So we can say that is too much of it or too many of some things. And also um, we were studying this kind of uh, formulas with these words and we have to uh, put emphasis also be careful in uh, when we are going to use it with uh, with countable nouns and uncountable nouns right if we use too many is for countable right and if, if we use too much is for uncountable so we were we have to be careful with that also we will uh, use in evaluations with noun we can use enough also with nouns. For example, apartments don't have enough parking spaces and we can use it in affirmative way and in a negative way, right? And also, let's see here, I just more, more uh, examples, right? With these um, formulas like subject plus verb plus enough plus noun, like apartments don't have enough parking spaces, 
houses cost too much money, right? So we were uh, talking about that. Now, um, since we already studied that, we are going to have a little exercise. This exercise is like, we have to say these sentences in a different way using too or enough, right? Like too much, too many, enough. For example, number one, my family lives in a very small house. We can say um, my family or the house where my family lives doesn't have enough space, for example, right? So we can say it in, with different words, but it's the same meaning. La podemos transformar esa oración. Podemos utilizar to, enough, es el mismo sentido, pero eh, la podemos utilizar con diferentes palabras. En este caso, yo quiero que la transformen usando to or enough. Um, for example, number two, transform number two. Her family lives in a quiet and safe neighborhood. How can we transform that sentence using two or enough? How can we transform it? For example, her family lives in a lives in a quiet enough, quiet enough and safe neighborhood. Very good. Her family lives in a quiet and safe enough neighborhood. Very good. So it's the same, but uh, with more emphasis, right? Or with these words that uh, it's showing like evaluation, right? For example, number three, the house is really far from my job. How can we say that with the structures that we have studied? Number three, the house is really far from my job. We can say, for, for example, example, teacher, uh -huh, go ahead. Um, the house is too really far from my job. Exactly, yes, but we can um, we can remove really, right? Because it's too really far. Yes, we can say too really far, but it's enough if we use too far, right? The house is too far from my job. Está demasiado lejos de mi trabajo. Mi casa está demasiado lejos. So it's okay, very good. The house is too far from my job. Number four, the bedrooms are really dirty to clean them now. The bedrooms are really dirty to clean them now. The bedrooms uh -huh, are too dirty. The bedrooms right? are too dirty to mm -hmm. clean them now. Very good. The bedrooms are too dirty to clean them now. It's the same, right? Too dirty to clean them now. Very good. Number five, it is really noisy on Sundays. It is really noisy on Sundays. Train, change it, transform it. Is, it is, <clears throat> teacher can be, it is too noisy on Sundays. Very good, yes, very good. It is too noisy on Sunday. It's demasiado ruidoso los domingos, okay? Very good, it is very good, Juan Carlos. Let's say number six, the last one. My neighborhood doesn't have many pupuserías around. My neighborhood doesn't have many pupuserias around. There yes. is isn't enough. Mm -hmm. Many pupuserias around. Very good. My neighborhood doesn't have enough pupuserias around, right? Very good. Oh, there isn't enough pupuserias in my neighborhood. Very good. We can say it in different ways, you see. It's, it, you just, we just need to follow uh, some kind of structure or the formula that we have studied and we are going to have the statement. 
So uh, number six is, okay, we are going to see the, the answers in a couple of minutes just for you to check the, the, the different ways that we can say it, right? But the last one, uh, do you have pupuserias around your house, near your house, or in your neighborhood? Yes. Do you have pupuserias? Yeah, I have yes. many pupuserias around. <laughs> many pupuserias. <laughs> and they are good pupuserias or not that good? Not so, so. that good. Not that good. <laughs> not that good. Do you get sick if you eat pupusas there? <laughs> yes. yes, no? No, I don't see it, but the, the, the flavor is not very good. Yeah, the flavor is not very good. Yes, I have three pupuserias near my house, but only one is good. Only one is good. The, the other two, it's not so, so good, but they're not bad. Okay, very good. So we are going to check right now the sentences, like the different ways to say it, right? These are the answers, like the possible answers, right? My family lives in a small house. My house is too small for my family. Her family lives in a quiet and safe neighborhood. Her neighborhood is quiet and safe enough for her family. The house is really far from my job. The house is too far from my job. The bedrooms are really dirty to clean them now. The bedrooms are too dirty to clean them now. It is really noisy on Sundays. There is too much noise on Sundays. And my neighborhood doesn't have many pupuserias around. My neighborhood doesn't have too many pupuserias around or my neighborhood doesn't have enough pupuserias around. So those are some examples, right? for uh, the structures that we have studied in the previous class. Now we are going to study today's class. Today's lesson is, is about practicing uh, comparisons. That's why I ask you to do your homework, right? Like compare your house with another friend's house or your grandmother's house. So the objective says practice using adjectives and nouns to express comparisons in English. In these lessons, practice comparing houses and apartments to express similarities or differences. Additionally, learn how to use expressions of quantity like just as, enough, or too much to modify adjectives and nouns. For example, just as comfortable or too few closets. So what we are going to study generally is just how to compare in a different way. Since you are in intermediate, I guess, or I believe that you have uh, been using comparisons or comparative, like smaller, bigger, uh, noisier, uh, more convenient. So we are going to use something similar, right? Uh, similar structure, but without comparatives. Now, just to uh, review it again, right? We have nouns. We have countable nouns and uncountable nouns, right? So we have uh, examples of nouns are space, privacy, lights, rooms, windows, bathrooms, parking spaces, noise, safety, rules, and freedom. We have countable and uncountable nouns there. And we have adjectives, right? Adjectives are for describing things or people or objects like safe, expensive, convenient, small, big, old, modern, inconvenient, private, dingy, bright, and dark. So this is just uh, a structure that we have studied before, or actually in the previous class, evaluation with adjectives. We use enough. We can use enough for in, uh, affirmative and negative statements. For example, houses aren't big enough for families. And also apartments are too small for animals. So we can use two also for uh, with adjectives, right? And also evaluations with nouns. Houses don't have enough parking spaces, so we can use enough with countable and uncountable nouns. And remember to be careful using too much and too many, right? Because it's different, right? Apartments cost too much money. Too much, we use it with uncountable, right? Uncountable nouns. And too many with Countable. So in the set in the last sentence over there in that table, it says my house has too many leaks on the floor. So too many is with countable. Leaks are countable. What is a leak? Do you know what a leak is? No, teacher. Do you know what a leak is? Leaks on the roof. What is the roof? 
roof. Techo. Techo, exactly, techo. And when it's raining, what do we have? Leaking, right? Goteras. Mm -hmm. So leaks wow. on the on the roof are goteras. My house has too many leaks on the roof, okay, when it's raining. So that's with a uh, countable. And the structure that we are going to study today are comparisons with adjectives, okay? This, <laughs> this structure, Tatiana is, is amazed, okay? These structures are with adjectives also and also with nouns. For example, apartments aren't as convenient as houses. So you can notice that we have two words, right? As and as, okay? And we have convenient. Convenient is an adjective. Uh, ¿Cómo traduciría esa oración? ¿Cómo la traducirían? Apartments aren't as convenient as houses. ¿Cómo se traduce esa oración? Los apartamentos no son tan convenientes como las casas. Very good. Los apartamentos no son tan convenientes como las casas. So, as is tan, el primer as, y el segundo es como. como. Tan conveniente como. So, mm -hmm. we are comparing, right? We are comparing. Uh, and we can use it also in affirmative, right? Apartments are just as convenient as houses. Los apartamentos son tan convenientes como las casas. So, we can use it with adjectives, right? And also, we can use it with nouns. Houses have just as many bedrooms as apartments. Las casas tienen tantos cuartos como los apartamentos. Y también podemos utilizarlos con nombres incontables. Countable and uncountable. Contables e incontables. La segunda oración dice, It makes as much noise here as it does outside. Hace tanto ruido aquí como afuera. Okay. Tanto, tanto ruido aquí como afuera. So it's a comparison, right? So we can use it with nouns, countable and uncountable nouns. We have, um, over here we have comparisons and evaluations. We have both sentences, uh, both uh, kinds of, of, of sentences. So I want you to read the first one. I need a volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Okay, who said me? Tatiana. Tatiana, okay, Tatiana. Read number one, please, Tatiana. I don't like living in an apartment. We don't have as much privacy as we had in our old place. Very good. I don't like living in an apartment. We don't have as much privacy as we had in our old place. No tenemos tanta privacidad como teníamos en nuestro antiguo lugar, ¿verdad? Donde vivíamos antes. Por eso no le gusta el apartamento. Carla, go ahead. Do you have a question or do you want to participate, Carla? Very good, very good. Thank you for reading number two. It says, I just can't sleep at night. The neighbors make too much noise. Hacen mucho ruido, too much noise. The building isn't as quiet as our old one. El edificio no es tan callado, no es tan uh, silencioso como el que teníamos antes. Very good. Let's see Rosa Maria and then Azucena. Okay, Rosa Maria, please, number three, please. The new apartment is too dark and too hot. hot. There aren't enough uh, windows. Very good. The new apartment is too dark and too hot. So that is showing um, uh, an opinion, right? An evaluation is too dark and too hot. There aren't enough windows. Entonces, es demasiado oscuro y demasiado caliente. ¿Por qué? Porque no hay suficientes ventanas. So, it's negative, right? Okay, Azucena, number four, and we finish with Lisette. Our new apartment is in big enough for our family. We don't have big kitchen anymore, so cooking is difficult. 
Very good. Our new apartment isn't big enough for our family. We don't have a big kitchen anymore. So cooking is difficult. So it's not big enough, right? That is an evaluation. And Lisette, please, the last one, number five. The location is just a convenient as the old one, but there are as many good restaurants around. Very good. The location is just as convenient as the old one, but there aren't as many good restaurants around. So we are comparing, right? The location of the previous apartment or previous house. So it's as convenient as the old one. We are comparing in the, the first sentence, but in the second one, we are just comparing it with, um, we're comparing it, but we are not comparing it with something else, right? There aren't as many good restaurants around. Yes, Juan Carlos. Teacher, I have a question about the number three. Yes. It can be possible to tell the new apartment it's too dark and hot, or the correct is tell to in two time. Like it is repetitive, right? Like too dark and too hot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yes, you can say, it, but you change the meaning of the sentence. Both ways are correct. But if I say the new apartment is too dark and hot. It's, I'm saying that it's, it's too dark, but it's hot, right? It's not that hot. And if I say too hot, I'm saying that it's really hot. So it's the emphasis in the word, right? That is showing like this kind of connotation. So it's okay, but it's different, the meaning. I understand something different if you say it that way. Okay, so uh, we have some examples here. Um, basically, what we're saying right now is these comparisons, right? As and as. Tanto como, and it means the same. In an affirmative way, it, it means that it's like the same situation or it's the same quality, right? For example, this apartment is as beautiful as the old one. Este apartamento es tan bonito como el anterior, ¿verdad? Entonces, it's the same. But it's, if it is negative, it's not the same. It's the opposite. This apartment isn't as bright as the old one. So it's the, the opposite. And as we, uh, as we can see here, we can see it with um, adjectives, but also with uncountable and countable nouns. As much, we can use it with uncountable. Apartments don't have as much space as houses. Los apartamentos no tienen tanto espacio como las casas. So we use uh, uncountable nouns. And with as many as, we use countable nouns. This new house has as many windows as the old one. Esta nueva casa tiene tantas ventanas como la anterior. So we use uh, like the same structure, but with different words, depending on if it is a noun, if it is an adjective, if it is a countable noun, or if it is an uncountable noun. So we just have to practice. And how are we going to practice? We just need to follow the structure that is in the platform. Probably you have studied this uh, already, right? Um, this, this formula, let's say it is with comparison with adjectives, with adjectives. It says subject plus verb to be, sorry, verb to be plus as plus adjective plus as plus noun. And we can see here the sentences, the, the examples, right? Houses aren't, that is a negative uh, statement, as convenient as apartments. Apartments aren't as expensive as houses. Apartments aren't as quiet as houses or apartments are as spacious as houses. Can we use this with, can we use this with uh, different words, with different, uh, let's say, not with houses, but with uh, in another situation? Yes, but la podemos usar en otra situación, no solo con casas o apartamentos. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos los tres ejemplos. The weather this summer is not as bad as last year. El clima este verano no es tan malo como el año pasado. The pasta dish isn't as tasty as the rice dish. And I am as tall as my brother. Soy tan alto como mi hermano. It's the same, right? Comparing it, but showing the same degree. So this is, these are just some examples with adjectives. And here we have well, more uh, structures with 
adjectives. For example, apartments are as convenient as houses. And the other examples are the car is as expensive as the boat. Today is as hot as it was yesterday. And silver is not as expensive as gold. That hoy, hoy eh, fue tan caliente como ayer, the, the, the same weather. O la plata no es tan cara como el oro, ¿verdad? The silver is not as expensive as gold. Remember that not is before the comparison, right? Not. And we have comparisons with nouns, right? Also. Here we have the, the structure. We have to be careful only if it is with countable nouns or uncountable nouns. It says subject plus verb plus as plus many plus count noun. Or if it is an uncountable noun, it's much, right? Much plus an uncountable noun plus as plus noun. I know it's long. Yo sé que es largo, se ve largo. Pero cuando ustedes hacen la oración, eh, no es tan largo, ¿verdad? No se ve, se, se ve confuso por tantas palabras que tal vez ven en la fórmula, pero ya cuando la hacen no es tan largo. Por ejemplo, esta misma estructura es la que tenemos aquí en los ejemplos. Apartments have as many rooms as houses. Is the same structure, la misma estructura, solo que la primera es para contables y la segunda es para incontables. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. You see, it's like a short sentence, but it's just showing a different meaning, right? With, with different nouns, like kind of nouns. Now we're going to continue with this uh, practice, the homework that we had last, uh, well, yesterday, was to compare the house with your best friend's house or with your cousin's house, with your grandma's house. Let's say how different it is if it has as many rooms as yours, if it is as spacious as yours. And we have an example here. It says, my friend lives in an apartment. Her apartment has as many rooms as my house, but there is too much noise. There isn't as much privacy as in my house. It doesn't have as much parking as mine. Nevertheless, there is enough illumination and security and also is pet friendly. So aquí estamos comparando mi casa con el apartamento de mi amigo, ¿verdad? O mi amiga. Eh, que tiene el apartamento, tiene tantos cuartos como en mi casa, que hay demasiado ruido, que no hay tanta privacidad como en mi casa, pero que hay suficiente espacio para parqueo. Sin embargo, hay suficiente iluminación y seguridad y además es amistosa con las mascotas. Se pueden llevar mascotas, pet friendly, right? Entonces, eso es lo que tenían que hacer. That was your homework. Now, I want to listen to you, okay? Quiero escuchar que han escrito. Y if it is possible, try to use these structures, right? Traten de usar esas estructuras que acabamos de ver. If it is possible for you, like let's say, if it is her, my, my friend's house is as big as mine, or uh, it's not as safe as my neighborhood, uh, different things, right? So I want volunteers, I want to listen to you right now. Rosa Maria, okay. Let's wait, Rosa Maria, wait. Um, are you ready with your homework? Yes, I'm okay. ready. Go ahead, Rosa Maria. I live in a house while my sister lives in an apartment. My house is big enough for my family. My sister apartment is too small for my family because we are five people. But for my sister and her daughter, it is big enough, but it doesn't have enough parking space. My house uh, has privacy and security enough, but there is too much noise. My sister apartment is comfortable enough and much closer to the city. Okay, very good, very good. So you live in, you're comparing your house with your sister's house, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. You said that your house is um, is big enough for your family, but your sister lives in an apartment, so it's not as big as yours. It's smaller. Yes. Exactly. 
Okay, but you live with five people. Who do you live with? I live in Ciudad Delgado. Ciudad oh, Delgado. Yes. And who do we you are live? five people. Uh -huh. And who do you live with? Who are those five people? Who are? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. ¿Con quién vive usted? ¿Quiénes son esas cinco personas? Uh, okay. I, my, my husband and mm -hmm. my two, three uh, sons. Three sons. And Yes, I. You don't have daughters. It, it is, see, I, I two sons and I one, one daughter. 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 Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And you said that it's um closer to the city, right? And you like your house because there is privacy and security. There is private enough and secure enough. There is too much noise. It's it's, it's yes. Okay, very good. So thank you for your participation, Rosa Maria. Very good. I like that you that you use different words like now for different places from to describe your house. And it was really good, uh, a really good homework. Thank you. Thank you. Now I want another volunteer. Me teacher. Maria. Who said Maria, right? Or Maria Cecilia. Okay, Maria. Go ahead and then Carla, please. Yes, um, I like my house because it's a, a private key area. And my house are enough for my family and my pet. Uh, it's a medium size. And the house have a three bedroom, two bathroom, one living room. Kitchen and a little cor cordon, cor yard. Um, I prefer living in a house than in an apartment because it's more comfortable and safe. Um, my neighbor, my neighbors. Um, neighborhood, my neighborhood is, is very good, and the area there's enough bus and illuminator. And my sister, my sister lives in apartment. In this place, it's different. It's, um, it don't have has many have a uh, privacy don't have uh, enough parking space and I don't have enough uh, courtyard. I, I don't know the pronunciation is correct, courtyard, parking? Yes, yes, it's correct, yes. Ah, okay, um, only that. Only that, okay, very good. So you said that your your house, you live in a private area, right? And you were comparing your house with your sister's house, right? Yeah, yes. Okay, and your house is big enough for your family and you have a pet. What kind of pet do you have? I have uh, six fish, fish, goldfish. Goldfish, yeah. Yes, goldfish. Only one or many? Uh, six. Six goldfish. Six goldfish. Okay. And do you have cats or dogs? No, it's complicated. The, <laughs> yes, the, it's complicated. Yeah. How do you say? We do care. I take care. I take care. Yes. I don't have more time. Is 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 easy for the uh, fish? Yes, it's easier to have fish, right? Yeah, because yes, it's very relaxed. Too. Yes, exactly. And they are beautiful, right? With the colors and everything. Yeah. Yeah, very good. And also you said that your neighborhood is really beautiful, that in your area there are enough buses, illumination. Yeah. And also uh, you have enough, uh, she doesn't have enough parking space, but you have a, you don't have a courtyard, right? Yeah. Like a yard. Courtyard is for me very relaxed. I have a, a little uh, garden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, do you like gardening in your house? 
beings in my house, my sister don't have a garden for the space. Yes, exactly. The space mm -hmm. in the apartments are, it's not mm -hmm. as big as a house, right? So very good. Thank you very much, Cecilia. Thank you for your participation because you use a lot of words and that's good. You just need to keep on practicing. Sometimes it's kind of difficult to uh, create or um, pronounce some words, but it's okay, okay? Let's, uh, one of the most difficult words that I have uh, listened or heard in this kind of conversation or exercises is comfortable, right? Comfortable, because comfortable oh, yeah. is in uh, Spanish, right? But in mm -hmm. English, it's comfortable. It's kind of difficult, but you just need to practice. Very good. Comfortable. 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 Okay. Thank you. Teacher. Very good. Very good. Now, another volunteer. Another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Lisa. Okay. Um, I live in my house and it is small. Uh, the land is big. Um, in my house, we live by people, and my house have four rooms, uh, living rooms, and a kitchen. Um, my house is quite bright since as I live in the countryside uh, for adaptation uh, into the place. I have five dogs and two cats, uh, and uh, they have a lot of the space uh, for to the play uh, be free. <laughs> no, escucho nada. Sorry, I wasn't yet. Sorry. So you live in a small house, right? Uh, yes, small house. Small house. Is your house big enough for your family? Pardon? Is your house big enough for uh, you yes. and your family? Um, en un principio. At the beginning. At the beginning, uh, yes, uh, my family is um, big. Uh, maybe uh, uh, today uh, is uh, uh, five people. <laughs> okay, only five. Five, the mem members, five people, members? right? But you, five your house people. has four rooms, <clears throat> a living room, a kitchen, and you live <clears throat> in the countryside. Where do you live exactly? Uh, yeah, where do you live exactly? Donde vive exactamente? Ah, I live in Santo Tomas. Santo Tomas. And your mm. five dogs and also five cats, right? Yes. <laughs> do you have Do you have enough space for your pets? Yes, yes. Yes, uh, right. Uh, in the countryside, uh, I believe that is, is bigger. It's, it's big uh, enough. They are uh, to the free they run free uh -huh. <laughs> on the trees and everything <laughs> yes <laughs> okay very good thank you lisa for your participation it was really good mm -hmm. and um yes we are going to practice in the next classes we are going to have different exercises i just want to check right now if you can uh, express your ideas right with these kind of homeworks another volunteer please Voluntario, otro voluntario, volunteer. Me, hey, teacher, I, I want to. Okay, got Go ahead. Okay. Okay, Carla. Then you, Carla. For, uh, don't don't put your hands down. Okay. Okay, you got it. Go ahead. Okay. My friend lives in. Uh, sorry, my friend lives in a house. Her house is a uh, much bigger as my house. Uh, her house has too many bedrooms. Her kitchens are as much spacious as my kitchen. But my house is, isn't much noisy as his house because he has a store. Okay. 
just that. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, so <laughs> your your friend, you're comparing your house with your friend's house. Yes. And is your friend house as big as your house? Yes. Yes, it's the same size. No, it's bigger as mine. It's, it's bigger, so your house is not as big as it's your mine. friend's house. Okay, okay. Okay, very good. So very good. And it says that there are too many bedrooms. Yes, he has too many bedrooms. How many bedrooms are too many bedrooms? Four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. And in your house, how many bedrooms do you have? Just two. <laughs> Just two. Very good. So uh, you don't have as much as, as many bedrooms as your friend's house. Okay, very good. And it just said that is too much noise. Where in your house or in your friend's house? My friend's house are very noisy. It's really noisy because she has a store. He has a store in her house. What kind of store? It's a it's a I don't know how to say venta de venta de qué. Eh, venta de gas, no sé cómo se dice. A gas store, yes, a gas, gas store. store okay. She has a gas store. Okay, very has good. A gas store. Gas okay. store, very good. Thank you, Edgardo. Thank you for your participation. And you used a lot of the vocabulary that we have studied, so that was really good. Now, Carla, are you there? Are you ready to participate? Carla? Or do, do you have a question? Or you want to participate with your homework, Carla? Can you hear me? Okay, yes, I can hear you now. Okay, in my internet, it's working well, but I'm gonna try. Okay, no problem, we, we will try it, yeah, no problem. I want to share my homework. I want to compare my house. Okay, go okay, ahead. I'm going to compare my house and my house. My neighborhood where I live now is more dangerous than my house. Another thing is my new house doesn't have as much room as my old house. And the houses in my, my neighborhood are too small for family. But for this moment, my house is good for me. It's spacious and all because I don't have a big family. And sometimes my neighborhood is too noisy and I don't like it because I have some neighbors very noisy because they turn up the music very loud. Or children play almost in front of my home and they make a lot of noise. Besides, my neighborhood doesn't have enough working place, but there are good things. For, for example, the rent here is too cheap than in my hometown, and my new house is right now than my previous house. And my current house have the bus stop almost as near as my previous house. And the last thing, in my neighborhood, there is just as enough illumination at night as my my current house and there are enough buses that I can that I can take near my house. Okay, very good, very good homework. You did a, a great job because you 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 used a lot of vocabulary and also the structures that we're standing right now. So uh, you said that your the neighborhood where you live right now is is uh, is more dangerous than you used to live before yes okay but uh is it is it dangerous or is just like yes, too dark or it's dangerous okay so you, you just have to be careful okay be careful and just uh, probably you you can you can get used to it right or probably you can move uh, to a, a safer neighborhood probably soon and you said that your house or houses in that neighborhood are too small, uh, but uh, it is uh, there is enough space for you. It's big enough for you because you don't live with your family, right? You live alone?
Carla, are you there? No, no, I live. Yes, I live. <laughs> sorry. No problem. My internet. But I live now with my husband. Ah, you live with your husband. Okay, very good. Okay, and one thing uh, that I, uh, well, the last thing that I heard is that it's really loud, right? It's noisy, your neighborhood, because of the children and your neighbors play music very loud. So it's the same situation with me, but just some hours. So it is as as, as noisy as your previous house. That's right. Or is less noisy? Your house is no, as noisy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Go ahead. In my previous house were quiet in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But now it is totally different. It's a lot of noise. A lot of noise, yes, I imagine that. That can be a problem sometimes, but anyway, right? Probably you can get used to it or probably one day you will move to a quieter place. But thank you for your participation. Your homework was really good. Was really good. Thank you. Perfect. Now, uh, somebody else wants to participate? Me, teacher. Maria Siguenza, right? Yes. Okay, Maria, go ahead. Okay. I like, I, I like my house because it's a space for garden in my bed. It's quite nice, it's big enough for my family. It's located very far in town, but my friends, she lives in a apartment. There is not much bedroom as my house. It doesn't have a much parking as mine. Oh, as he said, teacher, my. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the apartment, there is a no illumination as night. Only that. Okay, very good. So you were comparing your house with your friend's house, but your friend lives in an apartment, right? Yes. Okay, when we want to say uh, there is not, not as much space as in my house, we can say that or there aren't as many bedrooms, as many bedrooms, right? As much bedrooms, no, because it's countable. Now. So as many bedrooms as in my house, but you have enough parking space in your house, right? Yes, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your participation, Maria Siguenza. Very good, good job. And keep on practicing. We are going to keep on practicing, okay? Uh, one last last participant, please. El último. The last volunteer, please. Who wants to be the last one? Last one. We have here Noe, we have Jaime, we have Christian, Brian. Yes, go ahead. Noe. Okay. <clears throat> My friend lives in apartment, uh, but it's so small. He has no care of the garden. There is no space to have pet. It is very noisy and very dark, and it's very hot. My neighbors are not quiet, but, but I live in my house with my family. In, in my house is built, it's out three rooms, uh, one garage, kitchen, prime night, uh, living near Nuevo Lourdes. Okay, thank you, Ney. You live in Nuevo Lourdes and you were compared with uh, your friend's apartment, right? Okay, yes. you said that it's kind of noisy and dark and it's not quite enough, right? Okay, very good. And you live with your family in your house in Nuevo Lourdes. Very good. Perfect. Now, thank you for your participation. Now, we're almost finished, but we are going to provide a little bit of feedback. Actually, you did very good, very well. 
We just need to practice some. Uh, the pronunciation is kind of difficult all the time, pronunciación. Uh, some words like comfortable, like parking space. Y recuerden los contables y los incontables, ¿verdad? Esa estructura. But you did it very good, very well. Mañana vamos a seguir practicando el, el speaking, pero de una manera diferente. Si se conectan mañana, eh, traten de participar porque los puede que los ponga en pareja y entonces van a tener que eh, estar practicando con alguien, ¿verdad? Entonces, para poder eh, practicar de una manera diferente, para que todos puedan participar. Entonces, eh, vamos a seguir, vamos a finalizar con la clase de hoy. Just to give some feedback. Comparing, right, with quantities. We use as many as for countable nouns. And we use as much as for uncountable nouns, right? For example, Laura has as much money as Caroline. Laura tiene tanto dinero como Carolina. Y Kelly wears as much perfume as Pam. Kelly utiliza tanto perfume como Pam o Pamela, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, as much perfume. Perfume is uncountable, right? Money is uncountable. And, um, for example, uh, the examples below, we have countable nouns, contables, ¿verdad? Tenemos en los siguientes ejemplos. Michael ate as many donuts as Stanley. Michael se comió tantas donas como Stanley, as many donuts. So as many donuts is countable. Y Oscar has as many video games as Angela. Oscar tiene tantos videojuegos como Angela, as many video games. We can pluralize it and we can count it, okay? So it's countable. So eso tengan cuidado. Por eso es que al principio empezamos a decir cuáles son los nombres, si son contables, si no son contables, porque se pueden confundir. Now, um, let me see here. Let's see if we have enough time for it. Yes, I think we have. So we have a comparison with adjectives and nouns. Now we are going to order or organize these uh, sentences, right? Están desordenadas. Entonces vamos a ordenar, we are going to order the words and we are going to create sentences. For example, number one, apartments aren't as, as houses private. private. What is the sentence? Apartments aren't as private as houses. Very good. Apartments aren't as private as houses. Very good. Private, right? Privado, private. Very good. Number two. This too hot apartment is. This apartment, this apartment is too hot. Is too hot. Very good. This apartment is too hot. Este apartamento es demasiado caliente. Very good. Number three. Big enough for our this family isn't apartment. This apartment isn't big enough for us, for our family. Very good. This apartment isn't big enough for our family. You see, it's the same. It's lo mismo que con las fórmulas. Todo tiene su lugar, okay? Very good. Number four, lights. This apartment enough half doesn't. This, this apartment, apartment doesn't have, have enough, lights. enough lights. Very good. This apartment doesn't, doesn't have enough lights. Este apartamento no tiene suficientes luces. Number five, crime. This too much city there is in. There is too much crime in the city. Very good. There is too much crime in this city. Very good. And number six, the too much neighbors noise make. The neighbors make too much noise. Very good. The neighbors make too much noise. Very good. Let's see here. I'm really sorry, teacher, but I had a problem with my internet. No, no, no problem, Carla. No problem. Okay. Now... We are going to check the, well, the answers. We don't have the answers here, but it, they are very easy, right? So no problem. Now we are going to have a homework for tomorrow, porque mañana vamos a practicar también en parejas, si se puede. 
este, para crear rooms. Y vamos a tener la tarea de traer una lista. Okay? Write about something you would like to change about your life. Make a wish and write it down. Okay, we are going to write a list, al menos tres, at least three things. I wish I had, had more free time. I wish I were in Japan to know a lot of places. And I wish I had a car to go wherever I want to. So esto está en la plataforma. If you have studied the platform, you can check it there, okay? So van a hacer una lista de algo que quieran cambiar. So you are going to make a list of something that you want to change. For example, in your job, or in your, if you have more time with your family. So you are going to use I wish. So you're, for tomorrow, I want a wish list. Okay. Now, uh, do you have any questions about the homework? Preguntas acerca de la tarea? No, no questions. Okay. Do you have any questions about these structures, the, the comparisons, these formulas about comparison with adjectives and nouns? Questions? No, no, no teacher. Okay. If you need uh, these presentations, I can send it to you to the WhatsApp group if it is useful for you, right? So you can study it or you can uh, remember the things that we have studied. If it is easier for you, I can do it. But uh, remember that you have to use it, right? You have to study with it. Why? Because on Thursday, we are going to have a review. Uh, so you can get prepared for your midterm test. That is an easy test, right? It's really easy. I no sé si ya han hecho los exámenes ustedes o los midterm tests con anteriores cursos yes. en el basic, sí, ¿verdad? Y lo hacían con sus uh, profesores en línea, hacían los ejercicios en línea. No. Uno más, no, teacher. No, solo les explicaban la teoría, no hacían los ejercicios. Los ejercicios los hacen ustedes solos, ¿verdad? Okay. okay, very good. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to have a little review on Thursday. Y lo que voy a hacer es que les voy a compartir estas diapositivas para que ustedes las vean. Y el jueves ustedes me van a dar la clase a mí. You are going to explain to me. The, 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 uh, me van a explicar little by little. By. Ustedes no van a, a decirnos nada de de otro mundo, ustedes ya saben de lo que van a hablar, comparisons, nouns, countable. I'm going to ask you things like, what is this, what is that, and you are going to explain to me. So I will share these presentations on Wednesday at the end of the class, okay? So I you will have it for Thursday, okay? Do you have questions? Sure. No? Okay, so we are no, going to sure. finish, we sure. are finish the class. Sure. Yes? Yeah. There is a sentence in the middle terms, in the middle test. Bueno, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés, pero lo voy a decir en español. En español, ya. Ok, pero yo ya lo hice de muchas formas, pero siempre me lo pone incorrecto y ya no hay que hacer. O sea, no es que le esté diciendo que me lo pero justo es solo esa palabra y no puedo pasar de ahí y ya le busqué muchas formas de hacerlo y no... Eh, ¿Cuál es? Ya, ya le digo. Es una que dice eh, ¿En what things did you collect when you when you were a child? When we, perdón. What things did you collect when you were a kid? Mm -hmm. Ok. For And me, this part it's the is the uh, use to collect. Okay. So what things did you use to collect when you were a kid? Did you use to? Okay. Did you use to? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Because remember that we studied used to, right? Sí. Used to. Solía. Entonces, eso le voy a preguntar yo el jueves. No a todos. Vamos a ir uno por uno así. Por ejemplo, Noé, what is a countable noun, right? An uncountable nouns. Y Noé me va a decir, ¿verdad? Después Edgardo. Eh, different, pues María, Carla, okay, I will ask different questions. You guys me van a explicar a mí. If you cannot express yourself in English, try to try to do it, but if it is difficult for you, 
try to do it in Spanish, it's okay. But try to do it in English, practice, okay? Because that's why we're here. It says here, did you use to collect? Yes, exactly, Carla, thank you. Okay, entonces, if you don't have more questions, I will see you tomorrow at the same time, okay? Rest and take care and have a nice night, okay? See you. Thank you, take care. Good night. 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 Good